Yo, yo, what is up, crew? And welcome back to another vlog. Ironically enough, I'm actually sitting here editing a vlog as I'm filming, filming a vlog. It's like vlog inception up in here. <sighs> Happy Monday, y'all. I hope you are well. I am exhausted today. I'm physically exhausted, mentally exhausted, emotionally exhausted. I'm just drained. You know, I've had a lot of things going on in my life and good, bad. Actually, I don't like to say things are going bad in my life because things are going fairly well in my life. Um, you know, minus like some personal things like my son's mom being investigated by child welfare services. Um, that's actively happening right now. And it's saddening, you know, that someone portrays such a ridiculous story online when clearly I'm not the one being investigated by child wellness. Either way, I digress. I'm just exhausted these days. I was recently, if you watch the other vlog, I was recently in Miami for the Empowered Man Miami event and we are planning for our next one coming up already. And it feels good to you know, be planning these things and just getting things in place. But you know, currently, if I'm being transparent, I'm drained. I'm exhausted, I'm drained, I'm a little unmotivated and uninspired, and I'm trying to get myself inspired. Um, but either way, I'm here, and I get to make it a great day or not, the choice is mine. Back when I used to be in elementary school quite some time ago um, every morning Miss Swain at Palm Desert High School used to say make it a great day or not the choice is yours and it's a true statement you know choosing to make it a great day or not <sighs> and I'm choosing to make today a great day even though my day started at like 3 a.m., which is also adding to my exhaustion. Oh, my day didn't start at 3 a.m. intentionally. No, I don't just have an alarm set at 3 a.m. like ready to fucking go right then. But my senior dog this morning had an accident as I actually I don't know I, I don't know what he was doing he just had an accident jumped off the bed and left a nice little surprise and of course like I heard it happening because the second he hit the ground uh, and I heard his feet hit I already knew what was happening and knew it was too late because once he's going he's going there's no stopping him <sighs> I digress but of course, I got up then at 3.12 and uh, started my day because I didn't really have a choice. Because it's really tough for me to fall back asleep when I wake up in the middle of the night. I'm not one of those people that can just close my eyes and just miraculously drift back to sleep. But I'm working on it. I am working on it. I put up this post not too long ago sharing about the issues that I've been having with sleep and so many people had a lot of things to say you know the things that really stuck out were the ones that said you know maybe there's some internal things that are unresolved which I agree with I do firmly agree with that and there's probably some truth there but currently I'm just exhausted you know I'm exhausted from like 
the walk of life that I'm in. I'm exhausted from like constantly showing up. I don't know. Part of me feels like not many people really show up for me in the same way that I show up for them. I don't know. Maybe a momentary thought. There's probably some truth there. Who knows? All I know is that I'm navigating a very pivotal time of my life and I'm grateful to be doing so. And although I am grateful, I'm gonna put this up here. Although I am grateful, life is challenging many times. And I'm some pre-workout. Probably get ready to head to the gym and then crush my day because that's what we do. That's what we do. I did my morning routine, my gratitudes. I'm going to send a little bit of a blurb inside the Telegram group that I'm in. I'm just trying to make the most of today. You're not always going to wake up and feel ready to crush the day and feel ready to just go, go, go and leave this war path behind you of things you've accomplished today. I plan on just moving the needle forward on the things that I need to. Um, And even that in itself feels daunting inside me if I'm being truly transparent. I'm just drained. I'm just like thinking out loud right now too. But I wanted to stay in integrity with these vlogs because I know it's been some time since I've posted on these. And to be honest, I just haven't felt motivated and jazzed to do these type of things. I've been trying to give myself way more grace to handle the things that are important to me. Also in the process of buying a safe right now to put all of my valuables in as well as other things because you know I'm out here in California where concealed carrying doesn't exist and if you have a firearm you gotta have it inside a gun safe also it can't have any rounds in the chamber because every round in the chamber is nine counts of manslaughter so if you're in California check the laws and regulations before you bring any firearms here because uh we are pretty ruthless when it comes to those things out here in California. But uh, that's about all I got for you. This vlog is on being exhausted. And if you are feeling a level of exhaustion today, I want you to take assessment of the things that need to get done today and put that as your focus. Sometimes we just need to focus on what it looks like to win our day. And we need to quantify that. So take a look at today. If you're feeling a little drained, feeling a little exhausted, or maybe you're feeling like you're ready to crush it, ask yourself, what does winning my day look like? And double down in that direction. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.